The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If a man wishes to come after me, he must deny his very self, take up his cross, and follow in my footsteps. Whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. What profit does a man show who gains the whole world and destroys himself in the process? What can a man offer in exchange for his life? If anyone in his faithless and corrupt age is ashamed of me and my doctrine, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes with the holy angels in his Father's glory. He also said to them, I assure you among those standing here, there are some who will not taste death until they see the reign of God established in power. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us all be seen. Today is Friday of the sixth week of the year. And the Mass for today continues from the past Masses, explaining to us how to perfect our faith. The moment our faith is perfect, God gives us the virtue of charity. And charity is described as good works. So having faith and good works or charity, then our life is pleasing to God. As the first reading reminds us, in the past Mass, we were taught about Peter who committed a mistake by walking ahead of Christ. And the first prayer of the Mass, the Collect, precisely reminds us not to put anything before Christ. Don't put anything ahead of Christ, especially yourselves. Never put yourself ahead of Christ. Christ, in fact, called Peter Satan if he walks in front or ahead of Christ. Because Satan always does that. He always tells you to do things even before you know what is God's will. So Satan always tells you to go ahead of Christ. And Christ says, no, no, no. You go behind me because I am the one who should lead you to heaven so you should follow in my footsteps. The footsteps of Christ are his commandments. How can we follow in the footsteps of Christ if we walk ahead? We must walk behind him to see his footsteps. 
Nobody knows the way to heaven. Not the priest, not the bishop, not even the pope. Why? Because we have never been there. And we have never come back to earth coming from heaven. So we don't really know that place where it is. Only one knows where heaven is. As St. Paul says, the one who went and who came down and who returned to heaven. Jesus Christ, who had been coming and going from heaven. So he knows the way and nobody else. The saints, of course, and the angels know the way, but they were not meant to lead us to heaven personally. It's Christ alone. So the gospel for today repeats five times exactly the same message. So the gospel for today is not different from the gospel about Christ calling Peter Satan if he walks ahead of him. The gospel for today repeats in five different ways how to walk behind Christ so we can follow in his footsteps. The first summary is when Christ says, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. What does it mean to deny yourself? If you want to go to heaven, don't do what you want, stepping ahead of Jesus Christ and doing what you think will bring you or lead you to heaven. Because that's like walking ahead of Christ. So if you want to go to heaven, don't do what you like, what you think will bring you to heaven. Do what Christ did. <clears throat> and then Christ says, the second way to go to heaven. And Christ says, whoever would save his life will lose it. Who are those who are trying to save their lives? All of you would imagine and desire a way of life. All of you, all of us. We like a way of life wherein we can choose what we eat, a way of life where we can choose what we wear, a way of life where we can go where we want. And we love that life and we want to save it and keep it as it is. And Christ says, if you love that kind of life that you invented, that you made up yourself, you are going to lose it. So Christ says, you must be willing to lose that kind of life that you want to live. You must give it up for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel. Because that way of life does not lead you to heaven because it's walking ahead of me. And so Christ continues 
and summarizes the past gospel in a third way described in today's gospel. And he says, what does it profit a man <clears throat> if he gains the whole world and destroys himself in the process? Who are those who want to gain the world? It says, gain the world. Now, the world has been described by Christ himself as the kingdom of the devil. The devil is the prince of the world. Now, what will happen to you if you try to gain the world, to own the world, which is the kingdom of the devil? Well, of course, you are going to be a slave of the devil. And so, in the process of gaining the world, what will happen is that you will be destroyed by the world and the devil. Then Christ continues with the summary of what he told St. Peter. What can a man offer in exchange for his life? What if you walk ahead of Christ and then because you are ahead, you lose your way. You get lost because you're ahead. You are not following Christ. You get lost and you lost your way. How can you find another way? And Christ says, you cannot find another way because there is no other way. Then the fifth summary and description that Christ gave us in today's gospel, describing exactly what he taught St. Peter, <clears throat> is this, Christ says, and whoever is ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of him before my Father's glory. Now, who are those who are ashamed of Jesus Christ? Well, these are the people who are following Christ, and they are ashamed when people see them following Christ because they tell you, no, you should walk ahead. Be proud of yourself. Walk ahead. Don't be like a slave or a maid following behind your master. So Christ says, friendship with the world is to be an enemy of Christ. And so what happens is we are ashamed to show people in the world that we are worldly. We are ashamed that we are not worldly. So our tendency is to imitate worldly ways because we are ashamed before the eyes of the world in following Christ whose teachings are not worldly. So when we are ashamed in showing the world that we are not worldly, like the way we dress up is not worldly and we could be ashamed when people look at us who are in the world. Don't be ashamed 
in obeying the commandments of Christ, because if you are ashamed of obeying the commands of Christ, when you die and face Christ in judgment, Christ says, I will be ashamed of you. So there you have today's gospel. Christ repeating in five different ways exactly what he told Saint Peter. Exactly. The meaning is exactly the same, repeated in five different ways. Don't walk ahead of me. As the collect prayer says, put nothing ahead of Christ. Everybody, especially you, be behind me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.